drink the water from my hand. Alright guys, today I'm going to show you how to make your own custom micro T chassis. Um, mainly because I uh, totally demolished mine that I made for my Project Lightspeed micro T. Took a couple tumbles at about 40 miles an hour. Just cracked in two. So, basically what you're going to start out with is you're going to make a template. I used eMachine Shop. It's a program that you can download online for free to uh, design mine. It's basically like an AutoCAD clone. Um, makes it really easy. So, what you're going to do then is you're going to take it and you're going to cut it out. So now you got your template here. Basically what you're going to do is you're going to take double sided tape and stick it on the back and you're going to stick it on your material that you're going to be cutting in this case um, plexiglass okay so here I got my Lexan set up um, I got my template double sided tape done I got a nice uh, clamp here holding on to my plexiglass bench got my Dremel here with a carbide cutter bit um, and of course you gotta wear your safety glasses keep those pieces of plastic from flying into your eye so basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut around the template as close as you can without going inside the template and without getting too close because basically what you're gonna do is you're just gonna get a rough cut and you're gonna sand it down so let's get started just took my son to a man You can't run up the world again Alright, get all the crap off again Ooh, that's a hot bit See how I didn't get too close to where I was cutting the paper, but I didn't get it so far to where it'd be a pain in the butt to sand it all down and get it nice and close to the paper, and nice and smooth. So now I'm going to reposition it, get it easier, easier to cut it. Alright, there we go. Nice and tight so it doesn't move. And here we go. Turn your head now, baby, just spin me out. Don't worry about Now we're going to have to reposition it again. And here is our rough cut chassis. Basically now what you're going to want to do, since you already have your Dremel out, is you're going to want to take it, clean up your rough stuff, get it as close to it as you can without cutting the paper, but also keep trying to keep it somewhat smooth to make it easier to sand it and get it nice and close to the paper and get it really smooth. So, kind of rough cut. Our rough cuts are not as rough. 
we can go over it with some nice sandpaper and get her nice and smooth. So let me get that set up. Alright, so here we got our nice sandpaper. I think this is a uh, 100 grit um, aluminum oxide. Basically, just any medium grit sandpaper will work. Um, obviously, the coarser, the faster you'll get remove your material and the finer grit the smoother your material will end up being so a nice medium one will be fine for a chassis um, you're just going to want to get as close to the line as you can now clean up your rough cuts You see all these nice corners here? Well, you're not really going to be able to get in there on a table. So what I do is I always take it to the edge of the table here. There we go. And rub it against like so. That always smooths it out nice. Why follow me to higher ground? Okay, now all our edges are nice and smooth, so at this point you can take your template off, make sure to get all your double side sticky tape off. And if your material has a backing, protective backing like mine does, you can go ahead and peel that off now. Now you've got your chassis plate. Nice and smooth. It looks pretty factory too. So, the next step is to get all your screw holes in. Alright guys, so now, basically, we have finished cutting out our chassis. And now, we are going to drill our holes. But in order to do that, we need to figure out where we're putting putting our holes. So basically you're just going to take your original chassis and you're going to take an ultra fine point sharpie and trace the old to the new. And this should work if your previous chassis holes are big enough, which mine should be. And there you have three black points. So now I'm going to get the back done. This sort of has to be precision because you want to get your front and rear to be lined up with each other. You don't want your front end being a couple degrees off of your rear end because that would make your handling erratic and just it'd be your car would handle like a mess. <laughs> 